Hello again, I'm Full Deck. And I'm missing a few cards. And we are delighted to be here again for another guest solve on uh, Bremster's channel. Today we're going to be looking at Modern Art by Schma. Okay, let's see the rules. All right. Normal not, Sudoku rules. I'm not play. sure we've solved a puzzle by I Schma don't think before. So. so uh, we're looking forward to a new, new solver, at least to, in our a new setter for our experience anyway. Yep. Sorry, my apologies. Continue. Okay, normal Sudoku rules apply. Every row, column, and box. Must have a complete set of the digits one through nine. Okay, every row, column, you so fast I couldn't keep up. Okay, every row, column, box, complete set of the digits one through nine. I'm ready. Go on. Digits in cages cannot repeat okay. and sum to the given total. Okay, and none of these cages cross out of their boxes, so the digits not repeating in cages shouldn't come into too much play in the logic of the puzzle. But that's great. Okay. It's there for completeness. Oh, no, that's great. I, I like it. Completeness is good. All right. All lines are region sum lines and palindromes at the same time. So region sum lines mean that digits along the line sum to the same total in each three by three box the digit, the each three by three box the line visits. So these three digits in are in this box, and so they sum to the same as that digit in that box. They also sum to the same as those three digits in box um, four, and these three digits in box eight, these three digits in box six, and that digit in box nine. Each of those chunks will have the same sum, and there is a clarification further down that uh, to clarify that these lines that cross continues straight so um, let's check that it does it says well it says that for clarification two lines cross each other in box eight so the line that starts at row nine column three ends at row uh four a row four column seven yes so, so the lines is, yeah. do continue straight they continue they straight don't bounce yeah. off each other yeah now that's the region sum part of it but they're also palindromes they are and palindromes that just means the digits read the same forwards and backwards if you read along the line you'll end up getting the same sequence of digits, whether you start there or start at the other yeah. end. So if we were to start here, you know, here, along this way and down, we same as starting and going backwards. Okay. Uh, digits may repeat on lines if allowed by the other rules. In fact, they're going to have to because, because they're palindromes. So. And then different lines may have different sums. So whatever the sum of these three digits is, even though it has to match the, the sum of those three and the sum of those three, so it does not have to match the sum of those two because those are different lines. All right, I think we've got it. Shall we um, restart? Restart the timer and let's give this a whirl. All right. So Schma has been incredibly kind because yes. the cages that they have put in are all fully determined as to the contents. Well, Three of them are. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Three of them are fully determined. The only way to make a seven cage, a seven sum in three cells, is with one, two, four. Um, if we had one, two, three, that would only be six. We need to go up by one, and we can't repeat digits, so we have to go to one, two, four. A 23 cage has to be a six, eight, nine, and a 34 cell cage has to be six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, these are the four highest digits. They sum to 30. We can't drop any of them. 15 can be either 6, 9, or 7, 8. We don't know which one, but we can at least narrow it down. And it's a palindrome. And it is. So this line is the palindrome. So the two digits at the end have to be the same. So and that means that can't be a 7, which means that this one can't be an 8. Um, this reflects down to here on the palindrome, on the palindromic part of the line. And that's all we get for the palindromes in terms of a starting point. Now, the, the region sum part of that is going yes. to say that row 2, column 8 okay. plus row 1, column 7. Wait, wait. I've got to keep the other end of the palindrome. Row 2, column, row 2. I can do this. Row 2, column 8. Yes. So the, those two have to be the same because the oh. palindromes also because of the region sum line. Because the region... Two. Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking, I was I mean, of getting more. I'm just yeah, but it's just it's getting that. Yeah. But these three digits are at least one, two, three. So the sum of those three digits is at least six. So we have to get to at least six here. Um, that doesn't really help us at all, does it? Um, that can't be a three. Sorry, it, it can't be one, two, four. What I'm trying to say. Right. So it's at least a three. But we know that, I mean, that doesn't really do us much. Um, 
and we would typically be inclined to use similar logic here. These three digits have to be at least six, but we've already got that restriction from the single cell region sum out there. All right, so we're going to have to be slightly more clever than, than that. Um, so the most we could get for this region sum would be putting a nine here with a four, so 13. But the most we can get there is uh, 3, 4, 5, which would be 12. Which would be 12. Yeah. So it does rule out 9 on the end of the palindrome. No, it doesn't. Well, well, we can't have 12. We could have 9 with either 1 or oh, 2 sorry. to make yeah, a yeah, 10 yeah, or an 13. 11. Um, yes. So, all right. Where else? Where are some other weak spots? So we do know both from region sum logic and from palindrome logic that those are two are the same and they are at least three that doesn't do a whole lot for us though um so we may need to do some more with palindrome logic so where does five go in box eight Trying to think if that's let's mark. I'm gonna I want to mark the center of this long palindrome because the others I can yeah. kind of keep track of. Um, like I know that the center for for this palindrome is between these two cells. Those two are the same. Those two are the same. Those two are the same. But this long this one is harder to see. So those two are the same. These two match. If you break it oh. down into length threes. Oh, wait, see, though. we have two matching link threes. Well, I'm looking at the fact that this cell goes there. Those two are the same. So where is yellow in this box? If it were here, two, three, two, three. It can't be here. Yellow can't be here because it reflects to no, there. No, it doesn't. It doesn't? Am I miscounting? It reflects to a seven column four, I think. One. And then this goes with that, and then this goes with, oh, you're right. Okay. So the center is on the cross. I'm going to put these two as pink marking. That's where the center is. That's where it sort of moves out. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, so this could be yellow. Whatever these are, I have to go in here. Which also doesn't create problems. Okay. <sighs> Although, if we call those green and these two blue, then green and blue both have to be in here. And they have to go with yellow because whatever green and blue are, the third part of their sum is yellow. So suppose this were a one and a three in green and blue with a five. Well, one and three would have to be, no, because it could, one of them could be there. Never mind, ignore me. That was foolishness. If we knew these were green and blue, that would have to be yellow. But we don't know that. No. But we do know they're in here somewhere. But one of them has to be on the the long palindrome. Yes. What? Well, either this one. either green or blue or both are in this stretch because we can't put both green and blue there. Okay. Maybe we should be asking where nine goes in box five. Because nine can't go on this three cell palindrome no. because nine plus anything is going to get us past our maximum single digit sum. And nine can't go on this stretch because nine plus anything would be larger than what we could put in a single cell. Um... So maybe that's not quite the right question, but I think it's starting to get to the right question. 
um, All right, missing. What are we missing? <laughs> Rolled a few cards. I was so so so. Uh, <clears throat> I, I was so excited about those cages at the start yeah. and thinking, oh, this is gonna gonna give give us a big punch early. But oh, but we can't have both one and two on that stretch. Nor can we have both one and four or both two and four. Um, so the smallest we could have on there would be one, three, and five, which is nine. So our sum on that line, on that stretch of line, is nine, 10, 11, or 12. Right? We said 13 we couldn't make. I don't remember why we said we couldn't make 13. Because we wouldn't. Oh, because these are at most 3, 4, 5. Yeah. So 9, 10, 11, or 12 are the only possible sums for this stretch of digits up here. And we can't. Mm, yes, we could. It does rule out a three on the end of the palindrome. Yeah, and that's all. Um, no. No, it rules out a four. It rules out well. a four and a five as well. No, five, five could. Five is. Five possible. could work. Okay, so let's at least. I mean, that's that's not a whole lot, but it is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Ah. Um. We can pencil mark the end of row seven. No, sorry, row three, the last two columns of row three. They see one, two, four, six, eight, nine, row three. Row three. Columns eight and nine. One, two, four. Yeah, so three, five, seven. Mm -hmm. Don't know that it helps. Yeah. Now, oh, maybe we should use some, I don't know, palindrome logic. Where does that this go ahead? So row three, column two, sees six, seven, eight, nine, yes, and two of one, two, and four. Yes. So it's very restricted. Yes. It has a five on it. Wait, what has a five on it? The row the the line. Which line? Where? I've I've lost track of what you're, where where we are. There's a three or a five. It has to be. Those cells have to be three, five, and one of one, two, four. I think. They can only have one of one, two, and four because yeah. because of this geometry up here. Yeah. So it has to. And have they can't have five. any of six, seven, eight, or nine. Yeah. Yes, so three and five, and one of one, two, and four. Okay. And? And? We can only have one of three and five in row three, columns two and three, because of three, five, seven at the end of row three, in box three. Yes, so this is actually, these are actually three our fives. three fives specifically three fives okay so we get eight and one two or four so it's either nine ten or, or 12. twelve we don't get eleven so nine ten or twelve so what can we get so to make nine i'm we're going to go through this because it's probably we're probably going to wind up with the same four digits but to make nine we could have five seven or eight to make ten we could have six, eight, or nine. Yep, we're going to get them all. Never mind. We don't even need to worry about the, the four. Um, that was un unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, 
If it were five and four to make nine. So so if this cell is a five. It can't be an eight. Hang on, let me go through my line. You okay. hold your logic. I am in the middle of logic. Okay. <laughs> um, if this were a five, and I may, my logic may go nowhere, but we'll see. If this were a five, it would have to go with a four to make nine. And if this is a five, that's a five which would make this a five, right? And we're making nine now in here, which would have to be a one, three pair. Yeah. And so we have a one and a three here. That would be a four, this would be a one, that would be a two. Okay, that all works. Never mind. Okay, now you may continue with okay. your logic. The three and five in box one add up to eight. Yes. So if we had a one, to make nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. What I'm trying to say is it can't be a one eight pair in row four because that would place a one in row one, column seven, which would rule out a one on the line. Wait. In fact, the same thing is going to work. Row okay. four, column two. Row four, column two. If that's an eight, okay. then whatever is the next digit back. This is an it's eight. repeated on the line. Oh, because of the three and the eight summing to their seven. yes, yes. So yes. that rules out the eight. Okay, I, I need to talk that through for myself again because and yeah, well, yeah. Okay, if we were let's I, let's look at it up here because if this were an eight, then two of these cells, let's just say it's those two, sum to eight, and now these two would have to be the same. And it actually doesn't matter which of these two are the three and the five; those two sum to eight. The third cell has to match that cell, so this these cannot be eights. Wow, that was <laughs> that was <laughs> hard one, one yeah, but useful I hope. Um, if this is a one, these digits would have to be two, three, four, with a nine, because as soon as we take one out of the running, we to get to us the the then the smallest we can have is two plus three plus four, which is nine. This this region sum line can't have a total more than nine because there is a single cell version of it. So if this is one, then that's nine, which means that to go with this one, the most we could have would be seven, which was would be a total of eight on the region sum, that's which is too enough. small. That's These not cannot be ones. That's nice. But, your contribution, our my contribution. This is why we solve together. We see different things. Um, so similarly, if this is a two, there is a one in here. Um, oh, no, never mind. How do we make nine? One, one three five one three five can't be two three four can't be two three four but it could be one, one two, two six. six okay but the one three five means that this could be a four still um ah but it has a one on the line because it can't be two three four yeah so if it were a nine we would have to, we couldn't do two, three, four, and we would have a one on it. A six or an eight, either one does require a one. So there's a one in there. So there's a one in there. No. no. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, yes, no, these they, are the ones right here. This is this is where those this, cells are That's true, but we can't have two, three, four on the segment in books. Oh, right. Either. Right. This also couldn't be two, three, four. Yeah, this, there is a one in there. And okay. Then, then there's a one in box eight on there. Right, because these three cells, by the palindrome logic now, not the region sum logic, but the palindrome logic, one of these is a one. Okay. Which now means these are at least two and three. So the sum of this region sum is at least a five, least but it can't be a five. So these are now from six, seven, eight, nine. Sort of out of the blue. And that's potentially quite helpful, I would think. Okay. 
ones are trapped in here. Ones are trapped in there. So there is a one in one of those two. If we look at the palindrome in boxes seven and eight, uh, boxes four and seven. Yes, this one. Yeah. Where does the digit in row... Uh, there are two pairs of digits which have to be placed in box one. Okay. So row four, column one, and row eight, column two, has to be in box one in column three. Yes. So they are six, seven, eight, nine, three, one, two, three, five, four. or one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that's really the, well. It couldn't be one. Now we get that. Uh, we get that much out of it. Um, where does the where does row four column one go in box one? Row four column row one. Row four column one. Row four column one. Okay. Row four column one. Is reflected here, so it can't go in any of those. It can't be on the line. Why? Because it would be on the line. Oh, because two. it would be on the line in box two. That's that's oh 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 that's beautiful geometry. Oh, that's that's beautiful geometry. We're marking those. Yes. Those are gray. Now, where does it go so in box that's, seven? Hang on. So that's either a two or a four. Okay, box seven. So now it's in. Oh, also in box two. We can. Place it exactly in box Oh, we two. can. That's orange. It's an orange 2 4. Okay. Now in box and seven. Box seven. Okay, so it has to be one of those. It's not Can't six, be seven, that. Eight, so it's one of those. It if it were here, palindrome. it would also be there. Wow. Okay. Excellent. So now in here, it can't be in any of those. It also can't be in those because yep. those reflect up to there. So it's one of those it's two. It's one of these two. They if this red. were orange, that would be orange, which is yeah. broken. So this is orange. And reflects into the next box up. And so that's orange, which means that one of these two, because of the rows, is orange. But and this orange one looks down. Yellow. And yeah. orange is not yellow because that that's an important point. And I and I glossed past that. And I and in fact didn't even think of it. But yeah. Orange and yellow are different. So when we look at where orange goes in box six, it can't be in this row. It can't be in that row. It can't be yellow and it can't be there. So this is the orange two four. And place it in box nine. And so two that's an placed. orange two four. <laughs> the two fours. As if that were, you know, yeah. I, I take it. And I no, take it's great. It's fantastic. Absolutely. And okay. Yeah, that's fabulous. Okay. Um, Okay. Good. That was a flurry of activity. Um, uh, let's color the row four, row three, column seven, and row seven, column nine. And see row... where they go. The ends of the long parallel. Okay. Row. Should I get rid of some of the other colors? Should I get rid of these? No, do you not think? yet. Okay. Maybe. But you want to color these two and see where they go. Yeah. Let's well, make them. I think keep the others colored because they cannot okay. be the same as that because there's some ends to it. Good point. Okay. So, so I'll now, color those gray. So that gray. means this has to be exactly. gray. That's nice. Okay. So that's the gray six eight nine. Now, the gray and these are different to it because they're in a cage. Yep. Gray six eight nine. Oh no, it could be up there. Eh. It couldn't. Why? Because you can't put three, five, and six on that line. It would sum to too much. Oh right. So gray is in there somewhere. So this is not gray. That's not really all that helpful. Maybe color it red? 
No, 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 no. Um, I say yes. You know. Really? Oh, there's so many colors. I can't keep track of them. Where does seven go in box two? Approximately. Where does that is such a random question? Where does seven? Go? Oh, it can't go up there. That's there's this there's a seven in here, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. So where doesn't wow. it go? Okay, let me give me a second. So these are not sevens. That's not a seven. Yeah. And now, row two, column one, color it red, please. Okay. Where does it go approximately in box two? So where does it go in box three? One of those is red. That's, that's, oh my. Okay, that's a six, eight, nine. It is one of these two. So we're going to color those red with a flash just to keep ourselves. It's a little seasonal there. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. So that probably was worth doing. Now, we can't, we could have a six in one of these if we had a nine there. And, and if the six went with a one and a two. Um, if we had six, one, two here, we would have four and either five or nine. I don't think that's a productive line of thought. Um, All right, so now what? We've got... Um, Can the palindrome sections in boxes four and five... The palindrome sections... The red, so the, the so these three yeah. and that... Can they be the same digits? Because if they have to be different, one of them would have a two on. And that would be very helpful. So... In order to be the same, this would be green and blue, and that would be yellow, and this would be yellow, and then yellow would be in one of those two. And I don't see a problem with that. I was actually just looking at that same question, um, which is kind of an indicator that that's probably where what's being telegraphed is the next place to look. Um, but, oh, there's a one in here. Does that help us with anything? It would be very helpful if it was on the line. It would. We can't. So what if it's not? If it's not on the line, if, if this is a one right here. Then there'd be a one in row two in box two. And in row one in column eight. Yeah, which would mean that green would be one. <sighs> and it would put a one on the line. Uh, it would mean that green is one on of those the line. is one, yeah. <laughs> if one of these is a one. Then it determines the line. Then one of those is a one. Yeah, and it determines the line as being a nine. Which, which would, would have four, to be a five. four or five. Which would place the five there and the five there. And I don't... 
Not sure I see a problem with that. So, um, no. we've thought a fair bit about ones wondering some we thought a little bit about nines we talked about nines a little bit one thing we haven't looked at is what's going on here and in particular if this is a six nine pair I don't think that's actually, never mind, ignore that. That was sort of a... Well, that would be very helpful because it would place a five in row two, column eight. Wait. To... If this were a six, nine pair... Then gray is six, nine. We have a six, nine pair in the column. Oh, right. That would make that a five, which would make this a four and move us on into happiness. So could this be a seven, eight? If this is an eight with a seven there... Then this is an eight. This would have to be a one with either a two, five, or three, four. And whichever and whatever this is, say it were one, two, five, would use up the four. This would also be a one, two, five. This would also be a one, two, five. And this would be a one, two, five. Oh, actually, that might. Let's actually think through what that what happens with this orange cell being determined everywhere. This orange cell, whichever this is, two or four, is not on any of the region sum lines that go with these gray cells. So if this were a six, these are all one, two, threes, each of the segments. It's the only way to make it. Yep. If this is an eight, whichever version this is uses up the two, yep. four, and all of them are the same set of digits. Yep. If this is a nine, it's either one, two, six, or. But it could be one, three, three five. five. So if it's if it's one, two, six, that then this is a four, four. And they don't have to be the same. They don't have to be the same. Yes, they do, because if this is a four, no, that could be doesn't have to be a five. Never mind. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. So, can we? Is it the case? Could it be? Could it be a six with these all being one, two, three? If these are if, if we get one, two, three on all of these sections, those are all one, two, threes. All of the oranges are now fours. Um this would now be a one, two. Because we couldn't use the six because the grays would be six. Right. And if it's adding to nine or thirteen, we already have eight on the line, so we would need uh 
I've just broke my brain. My whole brain just broke. I would either need a one or a six to go with it on the line. Mm, it's feeling bifurcated. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, so ignore that. Um, okay, one of these is red. The other is... Beach, and it has to go there, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It's a lie. So it could be here. I'm feeling rather baffled by this puzzle. I'm sure it's us and not the, the puzzle. Seven and gray are in row two in box two. Seven and gray. <laughs> and wait, wait, we're in, in here. Yeah. So there's also a gray in there. Yes, agreed, because the gray can't go up there and can't go in here. So there's a seven and a gray, agreed. So, so these are, I mean, these as unsurprisingly from multiple angles are one to, taken from one, two, three, four, and five. Three, five, and one other. We knew that. Um, If this is a six, that's a six, and this is a nine. So this would have to be a five with a four, which would make these one, three, five, one, three, five, four, and five, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, oh, if that's a six, orange is four, these are one, two, three, we now I have a four there, that would have to be a five, those would both be nines, this would be a nine. Nine. Never mind, go ahead. That was going nowhere. So the combinations in row four, columns one and two. Row four, columns one and two, yes. Two can only go with nine. Why can't, oh yeah, because that, yep, yep, yep. And four can only go with five, I think. Four. Tell me why. I thought I had a reason. Can four go with nine? No, that's too big. Four with nine. We'd need two fives on the line. We'd need eight and five to sum to thirteen. Oh right. Fair Can enough. Four go with six. That would be ten. So we'd need a two on the line. Oh. So if this is a four, four with a six would put a two in here. Which four like the seven cage. with a nine can't happen. Four with a five. We, we need a one. One. Oh yeah, that doesn't, doesn't, never mind. Okay. Um, uh, 
So if this is a four, we have either five or six here. But if it's two, we have a nine. If it's a nine, we have a total of 11. How do we make that up with three and five and something? We don't. Oh, joy. Yes, I think, I think we just- I think we out. just rolled out a two, two here. Yes. These are fours. And the, the these are not nines. That took a while. Yeah. But I'm happy. I, I agree with that because the the four and the nine was too much because we would have needed two fives on the line. Two with the nine making eleven would need. We already have a three and a five making eight. We would need another three. We can't do that. Yes, beautiful. So we are making either nine or ten. We already have three and five, so it's either three five one or three five two. So these are one two three five. These are. One, two, three, five, and this is one, two. Yes? Yep. I'm going to get rid of some corner marks because they're confusing me. Okay. Now the fours are all in, so I think we can take, take the away the color. Yes. Okay. Now, four to make six, seven, eight, or nine. Well, we can no longer make eight. Yep on these region sum palindrome lines. So these are two, three, or five to get to our total of six, seven, or nine. And we no longer have a four available. So we can know if this were an eight, it would have to be um, one, two, five, mm -hmm. which would make that a six. But if this were a six, we would just have one, two, three. Um, if this were a nine, it would have to be, um, well, it could still be either one, three, five, or one, two, six. It's got a five or a six on it. I think that takes not if six. It's, not if it's a six, then it's a one, two, three. It, I think... All of those rule out six in row four point seven. Oh right, yes, okay. Because if this is a six, that's, that's right. not a six. If this is an eight, we have either uh, one. We have one two. Well, five. we have one two five, which makes this a six, which takes out the six. If this is a nine, we have either one three five, which makes this a six and takes that out, or we have one two six, which take yes. These are not sixes. Beautiful, and that means that these are not twos. So we either have four, three to make seven or four, five to make nine. Okay. And, oh, no, it doesn't. It does not do the same to this, but, um, but it, does, does it get to it somehow? No, because it was, because Gracie's that's so. But if this is a six, that can be a six. Because those are the same. Yes, but, oh, sorry. Yep, yeah, 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 no, I was. No, I'm with you. I'm. Okay. If this is a two, none of those are twos, so that's not a two. And if this is a two, that's not a two. Very nice. That's a three that's, five, and it has been forever. It will, always has been. Has it always been? Because we yes. can do the same with the one. Yes. Yeah. So that is not. It, that it's is also by power. Oh, and also because <laughs> you put in the one twos late. Yeah. The three fives are already I do. there. Yeah. Hmm. Love it when we have silliness. Okay. Um, okay. 
really would love to determine whether or not pink is yellow. That would make me so happy. Um, not convinced we can do that yet, though. Oh, these can no longer be 135. Is that leave that with no fill? Yep. So if these are either 126, if this were a 9. Okay, let's go through this. If this is a 6, that's a 6, and that's a 5. If this is an 8, though, so, oh, if this is an 8, these are a 1, 2, 5, and that's a 6. Darn it. So I was going to say, I was, I was all excited about this now being a, a, a 1, two, 2, 6. If it's a 6, it's 1, 2, 3. If it's 8, it's 1, 2, 5. If it's 9, it is 1, 2, 6. Yes, there is a 2 in there, which means there is a 2 in there. Which means we've got a 1, 2 pair in box Yay! 9. Yay! That's a 1, 2. We've got 1s and 2s yes. in column 7 and 8 in boxes 3 yes. and 6. Here and there. Thank you for explaining that. I saw it and my, my mind is now. I appreciate the fact that you you explained that for all of us. Okay. So now. Five in this box. Well, where is this cell in box two? It has to be one of those two, but it can't be there. This is the orange cell in box two. Because the orange cell is either three or five. Three and five are both up here. The orange cell in box five has to be in column five, in box two has to be in column five. Can't be there, can't be there. This is orange, it is a three five. So that's a three five and that's a one two and that's a one two. Yeah. I'm gonna mark that, that's orange. Um, which means it's also orange, right? There, which means that one of those two is orange. So is either a three or a five. That doesn't really help with anything yet, but maybe it will eventually. Um, orange can't be in any of those. Orange also can't be there because it would reflect yep. to there. Um, so one of these two is orange. Does that help? Not convinced. Orange is different from green, blue, and yellow because of box five. So those aren't orange. These aren't orange. Those aren't orange. One of these two is orange, which, which means that's the not orange, which places it here. And it's a five. And it's a five. So, so tempted to check digits, right? I, I know, but we're not going to. We're not going to. These, though, are all fives, which means that those two are threes. And those two are ones, and that's a two, and that's a one, and that's a two, and these are we not fives. I'm going to get rid of some colors. Hang on. Yes, because this is not a five, so that is a five. I'm going to get rid of all of the yeah, orange one because five it's. Left to go in box seven, and that's the fives. Okay. Box seven, five, five has to be in this column, and it can't be in those two. That's a five. Oh, and four plus five makes nine. These are nine, which means these are not nine. So these they're are, eight, and they're guess. not eight because it would have to be a one, two, five. These are sixes. So the 15 cages are nine. These are one, two, three. All, wait, hang on. All of these now are one, two, three. Because that's a six, this is a nine. I know there's a ton of cleanup we can do now. Place nine in box three. 
Okay, in one of these two, but I don't know which one yet. Oh, right, no, I was wrong. But the two looks down, two comes out of here, so Green that's a two. two, that's a two. One of these two is a two. This is not a one. Well, neither of these are threes. So that's a three. And, and now two, this two, is two, a eight. one, that's a two, that's a one. And it's next to a three on the line. Yes, three, two. So this is not a two or a three, it's a one, which makes that a three. Yellow is now one and blue is three. We're gonna get rid of those colors. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to, how am I going to do this? We're going to do it that way and that way and that way and that way. We can also get rid of the sixes. Okay. Okay, we can place seven and plus three. Let's also get rid of the sixes from red. So we know they're not sixes. Okay, seven in box three, you said. Three seven. Looks up. Three in box. Three looks up. Good. Seven. So that's a three, and this is an eight, nine pair. Which means that for the seven. column, a seven. Row. Row we need an eight. Okay, thank you. So eight comes out, oh, eight and nine come out of here. So this is a six or a seven for the column, but it sees a six in the row. So that's a seven by palindromes. That's a seven. The seven looks up and makes that a six, which takes six out of the box. And seven in seven comes one. out of there. Now we have an eight, nine pair in the box. So seven, yes. Woo! I'm going to get rid of these colors, too, yep. because they're not yep. helping. Okay. These... Box six. Box six. What a low-hanging fruit. How intelligent. Column eight. Column eight. <laughs> okay. What are we missing in column eight? eight. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Okay. Um, these are one, two, three and, seven. three, and seven. So that's the three... And place the sevens. These are sevens, palindromes. In the box, we need six and nine. So that's a nine and that's a six. Nine Row... looks up. Okay. Eight, nine. This now is a one, two, three, four, five. That's an eight, yep. which looks, looks up. up. Nine and eight, nine and eight. These are, well, this are one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are two and seven, placeable, two and seven. Whoo, these in the box, one, two, three, four, five, six and nine. This one though reflects to there, which sees a nine. So this is a six, that's a six and that's a nine. Column two needs Column a two, two needs a two, which resolves our one and our two. Row eight needs so a one. one and this that's needs a three. A three. This row needs seven and nine, which have to go nine and seven because of the seven in the column. The box now needs six and eight. This six looks up to give an eight and a six. Holy cow, that was, that's I'm so it. so glad we hadn't made a mistake. Holy cow, me too. Um, so 183 solves in 67 days. That took us Brilliant over 50 puzzle. minutes. Absolutely stunning puzzle. I was not sure we were going to get through it. That, that was such a deceptively, oh, yes, I'm going to give you nice cages, lulled us into this false sense of security, but narrowing down the fact that we had to have the three, five, and then that restricting these digits using the, cal the palindrome, and then what was seeing everything everywhere else. The real breakthrough, for us at least, was getting the two fours everywhere using the, the geometry of the grid to figure out where this cell could go elsewhere in the grid. And then finally that, and, and then you're you spotting the fact that we couldn't have the nine. And then because we couldn't have the nine, we couldn't have the two. And then it finally started unwinding. But the interactions between these palindromes, this used geometry in the grid so powerfully. Wow. One of the hardest puzzles we've ever solved, certainly on video. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, because we have certainly, I think we may have had longer solved, but only because we were being absolute numpties. I don't think there was anything that we just 
totally missed seeing that we should have Please seen. Please tell us in the comments. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure that there are people out there who are going, "Why couldn't you see this sooner?" But at least for us, if we'd made a mistake, they'd have been screaming. Oh, absolutely! For yeah, for an hour, hour, for almost an hour. Yeah, but wow, that was a beautiful puzzle. Thank you, Shma, for such a lovely puzzle. Thank you, and... Brenster, for sending it on and giving yes. us the opportunity to solve it. Absolutely, I do hope this gets a lot more solved. I hope people aren't scared off by the video length, or if you even if you are, do give it a whirl. Um, and then if you get stuck, one, one of the things we tell our students is one of the best ways to, to learn to solve is to solve a puzzle until you get stuck and then look at somebody else solving it. Get until that next get nudge. Unstuck. Yeah. And then solve the rest. Yeah. And that's certainly how we've learned many things that we've picked up. Some of the logic that we've found is from watching Bremster and other solvers on, on channels. So thank you all. We're a wonderful community. And uh, as Bremster always says, good luck with your solving. solving.